Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is another beautiful day here in Washington State. Thought I'd bring you a video on this Monday afternoon and uh, bring you up to date on a couple things. So uh, we'll get into that here in a bit. But first I want to talk about um, what I did last weekend, this past weekend. Um, yesterday, in fact, I linked up with uh, Jake, Bainbridge Bass Fishing. It had been a little while since we had seen each other, so we uh, decided to meet up and uh, drove around South Bainbridge Island and explored some spots, took some pictures. I'll insert some of those here. Yeah, it was a good time. Jake, thanks again for taking me out uh, and uh, showing me around Bainbridge Island a little bit. We'll have to do the north side of the island next time so looking forward to that while Jake and I were hanging out we were talking about fishing plans and uh, our plan for opening day and stuff like that what lake we're gonna fish how we're gonna fish it it was really fun it got me really excited and jazzed about the upcoming bass season so um, yeah really haven't been doing a lot of fishing at all and uh, yeah it's been a slow winter for this guy so that's okay. It's okay. I'm going to make up for it in the spring and summer. We're really going to pump out some content, and uh, it's going to be a good, good spring. I, I just, I got a feeling it's going to be a good spring. Um, yeah. Okay, beyond that, um, the channel's doing really good. We're doing all right. Yeah. Uh, not much more to say on that. But uh, anyways, let's get into uh, what I wanted to update you guys on, um, really, uh, which is the Manix 2. I've been carrying this thing pretty much exclusively. Um, the Native 5's been in my pocket as well. Like I'm, That's actually what I'm carrying right now. It's my, uh, my little lightweight do-everything knife. I usually wear, I usually carry this when I'm uh, wearing, like, uh, sweats or uh, athletic shorts around the house or something like that like I am on this particular day so I'll usually have that in my pocket but besides that it's been the Manix too um, yeah it's a large knife it takes up a lot of space in the pocket because it's I mean you can see it's pretty tall compared to other kind of pocket knives um, and you know it is I think eight and some change inches overall it's, it's a large knife, but uh, I dig it. I dig it. The lock has broken in beautifully. It was super stiff to begin with, like like some serious lock stick. Um, but that worked its way out over time. Just had to uh, use the knife and um, work the action. Tends to help in a lot of situations. Um, centering has actually stayed pretty good. See if I can show you guys. It's a little bit off center, but that's not anything to really complain about. Um, I've been using it, so I am not too worried about that. If it, if I really want to get it back to center, I'll just do that centering trick where you loosen the hardware on one side of the knife and move it over and everything like that. But um, I don't feel the need to do that yet. Yeah, so I'm really enjoying carrying this. I really am enjoying carrying this. It. It's easy to pick it up every day and put it into my pocket for sure. Knife is actually good at food prep, believe it or not. The way the ergonomics are set up, for me at least, I can get almost a pinch grip. Let's see if I can get that in frame. I, I almost get a pinch grip on there like that. And you can slice, you can prep food, you can do it. I've done it. I should have got footage of it, but I've done it. I was cutting carrots and um, the hell else was I cutting the other day? Zucchini. That's what it was. Carrots and zucchini. And it was just sailing through it. It was just... It was so much... Yeah, so I'm really excited on this knife, to say the least. To say the very least. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to carrying it for the rest of the month. And then uh, we're going to switch up to something else. So... I don't know what that something else is going to be yet. Um, the pair of three is on the list because I haven't really carried my brand new one. Uh, since I got that one back from Spyderco, I haven't carried it really um, once. It's been in my knife roll, um, just kind of sitting there collecting dust. So maybe that'll be the next knife that I will uh, 
carry for the month of March. Yeah, month of March. So, okay, other thing I wanted to update you on, um, and it's been quite a while, is this fixed blade from Knives of Alaska. Yeah, so I put a pretty good edge on this thing. Like as soon as I got it, it came with a pretty good edge, but I wanted to put my my own on it just straight away. Uh, it's D2. Made in the States. Interesting knife. I've got some thoughts about this. Um, I don't know that I want to do a full review, quote unquote, on it. I don't know, guys. Uh, I, but I, I have some thoughts on it, so I will make a dedicated video on this, this knife. Um, probably here in the next couple days. Let y'all know what I think about it. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But uh, it's a pretty good knife. Pretty good knife overall. Um, cutting performance is great. I have been cutting, um, breaking down boxes mostly with this thing. And uh, it goes right through. I mean, the edge I put on it's good enough. That with the D2 tends to hold an edge okay. Um, you know, not as good as some other steels, but D2's, D2's decent. It's pretty tough. Um, so, yeah. I'll let you guys know my thoughts on that when I get them together and we'll do a dedicated video on it. So, um, yeah. Beyond that, I don't think there's anything else I need to update you guys on. Hope you guys had a great weekend and I uh, hope you have an even better week. And uh, I'll see you guys probably in the next couple days with a video on this thing. So, all right. See you in the next one. Thank you.